Hello! Welcome back to another RimWorld uh, playthrough, I guess, with our corporate guy, our corporate fella, our corporate colony, Outer Rim. Uh, Outer Rim Enterprises, actually. As you can see, I didn't mention this last time, but we worship the corporation, Omni Rim Enterprises, what we work for. Uh, but yeah, let's get back into it, I guess. Um, as for what exactly we're gonna do this episode, don't really know. I kind of play this game, just, like, do things as they come. Uh, I, I, I think, actually, no, I do know what we're gonna do. We're gonna get something, like, a research area set up. So we're gonna need that a lot, very badly, very early, to get some of the things that we're gonna need for, uh, selling product. I do think we should start growing something to sell, and we already have a caravan. We also have caravan quest, we might not use it that much. Um, <laughs> this mod list is not very catered to specifically this playthrough, it's kind of mods I like to use on my own time, um, and that's one of them. I like trade caravan, or uh, caravan adventures, I think they're fun. Um, we don't really have any products to sell, but we are gonna need to trade we like trading. It's a necessity to us. Um, so we'll figure something out to sell. Probably gonna end up being, like, some of our medicine. Because, you know, who needs medicine? We're a corporation. We, we need money. We need profits. Not medicine. Let's slow it down, because it kind of kills the frame rate to go for speed. Let's see, though. Maybe they'll have something cool. They are exotic good traders. Let's see what they get, they have. And yeah, sorry if the frame rate's kind of bad, it's just because of the speed and the map size and the recording. I didn't plan this out very well, honestly. I should have probably tested the size and whatnot, but it's fine for now. I think. Uh, if it is annoying, let me know and I'll figure something out to make it a little better, hopefully. Uh, this is actually a little huge. I kind of want to get some advanced components. But we also have no money and we don't really have a good way to get enough money other than selling all like oh no that's to get the wrong way we could sell a lot of our medicine for this do we want to get rid of glitter world medicine for some advanced components yeah you know what this might be a horrible decision I might regret this quite a bit later but it's kind of worthwhile to get like a fabrication thing going fabrication bench and it also gives us the we're happy we traded thing. So let's get that inside ASAP. We still have a good amount of medicine. We don't really need 30 Glitter World medicine, do we? We can always buy more when we have a lot of money, you know? Um, this will be our research room. I'm not going to extend the hallway just yet till we have something here. It's probably going to be a kitchen on this side. Not very well organized uh, at first, but it will as we get more tech and things going. I'll probably, like, carve out this mountain and build the actual corporate building. For now, this is sort of a uh, homestead corporate building, I guess. Um, but as we go forward, it... it I, I'll change it. Um, I'll definitely change it. I probably need to get a, like, food, like, table, recreation area going soon. I tend to also forget that, that people like like having a good time. Even if they're like a CEO of this company, they want they want good things, they want fun things, I guess. But for now it's all about our folding chairs and our simple research bench. And this I do believe is vanilla now, and I love this. I'm so happy with Tynan. Wall torches and wall lights, I'm 90% sure this is vanilla. And it is amazing makes things so much better, even though it's like a little less efficient, I think, or like gives off a little bit less light. It is definitely worthwhile, in my opinion. Um, I should also tell these guys to go away, because I hate when they're just kind of hanging around like this. But I also think I have a caravan hitching spot that I should probably use, but I'm not using for no reason. I, I always forget that these exist. Is this um? I don't think this is for trade caravans, like a trading spot. I 
I mean, this visiting spot might might work, but I'm not sure. I guess we'll see. Well, we won't. I'm not going to use it just yet because it's not super annoying, but it will get annoying to me later. I, I usually get really annoyed about caravans and their placement. Like, you'll have, like, a dumping stockpile or something for, like, human corpses early game, and they'll just go chill over there and it annoys the fuck out of me. They're, like, not in my way, but, you know... What are you doing over there? Lag in my game. Or whatever. <laughs> just kind of bothers me. Um, we should get this research bench going pretty soon here. And then I think I'll have him sort of just research batteries, probably. So I can get some proper electricity and stuff going, because I tend to either completely ignore batteries or not do anything until I get the batteries. It, it usually depends on how many people I have. Um, and this time I think it is a worthwhile thing to invest in. Oh my god. I wish... I, I It's part of the challenge, I guess, but I, I do wish I made him better at building. Or, like, got a better guy at building, even. Because I do have prepared carefully, but I only use that on this guy for his... Uh, Corporate drone and his outfit, really. Which, by the way, he's fully decked out in corporate gear, as you can see. I do wish I like gave him a bit more of the basic skills, but you know, it's all in the challenge. It's all about the challenge here. We're just chilling, chopping some wood. Um. While we're waiting I, for him to build this, I guess, we could start planning out... I don't know how this kitchen is going to work. I'm probably going to have, like, a... I don't know. Maybe, like, a rec room connected to a kitchen, connected to a freezer. Um, we also have storage mods that make freezers. can be They can be as small as you want, really. I kind of only usually end up using this for freezers, ironically. These storage mods that I usually I, I, I nab. Freezers, they're so huge. Uh, there's also a stack mod, as you've noticed. I don't know if it's cheaty, but I one of the things I don't like about base for world is storage is just really annoying to me. Uh, a band of thugs sent by the Alliance of Barma call you from nearby. They offer to keep your colony safe from any threats, even the ones potentially caused by them, as long as you pay a fee of 80 silver. Uh, hell no. That's not a business transaction, that's extortion, and we don't stand for that. If you want to buy some, like, weed or something, well, we don't have it yet, but when we have weed, come on back. But fuck no, you are not getting free money that I worked so hard to get by selling the medicine I bought before I got here, you know? Um, now that the research room is done, I don't know what that noise was. It kind of creeped me out a little bit, but... Uh, now that research room is done, I can start the expansion into a rec room, which will lead into a kitchen, which will lead into a freezer, I think. Probably have a smaller kitchen, like that, and just put like a, uh... Because like I said, I'm probably going to rebuild with like bricks and stuff under this mountain, and just get rid of this. Um, we'll have like a... This is all going to be temporary, I think. This will be our storage room with, like, some meat hooks and a granary thing. Cooler, yeah. It's good enough for me. And we could have, like, a butchering spot or something right there. Yeah, I like this. And we can floor it all up. And we'll get rid of these doors and place some new ones as well. And our red. They came! They're coming for my money! These bastards! What does he have? Ah, <laughs> dual wield wooden club and hatchet, huh? What a guy. I have a sling, though. I'll see how he fares. They're attacking immediately as well. Should probably sally forth. Let's see how this goes, I guess. Slow it to two speed for the approach. Now let's see how good Weaver is in this situation. We're gonna run and gun, because honestly he's gonna die if he gets caught. 
hope this is enough. Is this guy fast? No. So it might be okay. Uh, maybe? Hopefully? Come on, Weaver. You got this. Protect the corporation. Maybe we can hire this 19-year-old girl. Oh, shit. Does that ever happen to you guys? Do you, like, if you play RimWorld and you're, like, autosaving and you middle mouse or something, and, like, right after that, it throws you across the fucking map in the middle of an important situation? This happens to me all the time, and I don't know why. It annoys the hell out of me. Right now it wasn't a big deal, though. I paused pretty quick, but sometimes I just, I'm not quick enough and something bad happens. Shooting level four. Well done, Weaver. And I think they're injured enough to be slow, so it might be fine to, yeah, and sit there for a second and then run off. Maybe sit here for a second, find cover. Come on, Weaver. You can do it. Oh, fuck. This could be bad. Get out of there. Gotta be more careful with Mr. Weaver's life. Like now, go, go, go. And don't kill this person, we can make them our employee. We'll probably stalk them, like, actually while I'm thinking of it, so we can save them quickly. We'll just throw them in the research room, uh, for now. And hope that that's, like, good enough to not... I, I, I don't know, to keep them there. It usually doesn't matter in Rome World that much, but... Honestly, if I can knock him down, I can probably- or her down, I can probably get her. It's gonna take a while, but his social skill's pretty good, and he's got a passion. It would help it, uh, help him a lot with, like, getting good trade deals and whatnot later. To get him, uh, even if we don't keep her, or she dies or something of infection, I can get, like, some social skill off of this. If he could knock her down, I-, I God. It always sucks to me not having someone good at combat, but it also adds a lot to the uh, anxiety of it, of one colonist room world. But just like running in a loop like this, man. And I guess he has a sling too, which she could help a lot. She could help a lot if we get her. Uh, Weapon-wise, we could get her to make some bows. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. But I guess it's not a crazy... Oh? Uh -huh. No, it's... Well... You know what? I don't care about that, but Weaver, go equip the hatchet. As your offhand. There we go. You can haul this bad boy back. And yeah. We're chilling. Other than the little corpse. But we can deal with that later. For now. Don't know what that's there for, but for now, Weaver, you're a legend. Other than the fact that you murdered our one hope of a new employee. Still a legend, my friend, for surviving. And he's building, finally, our new corporate wooden block, I guess. Something else I tend to do, which I wish I didn't, is uh, just let them eat the survival meals. I honestly feel like those are so valuable. And I don't think I have a mod that lets you make them. Maybe the Mechanoids mod does, but the Vanilla Factions expanded Mechanoids. But I really gotta stop, like, stop doing this. Letting them just eat these. I could, I could totally just harvest some, like, orange trees and stuff and save that for sticky situations. Which I guess I'll do now that I'm calling myself out for it. Let's go harvest like two orange trees and or what is this bush? Yeah, bear berries are nice. Bear berries are very nice. You have like 40 each. No, oranges. You got one of each of those for him to harvest and hopefully uh stop eating these survival meals. When he's done playing horseshoes of course. I would never make him stop playing horseshoes. No, 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 no. Fuck off. Why are you doing that, buddy? All that shit. And then you can go build, or chop the tree, I guess. 
because he's probably going to focus this. So we... Once he gets this wood, I'm going to prioritize refuel, then get him to go harvest one of those trees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. So, fuel that, and then go harvest the bearberry. And we will... Simple mil meal four. And actually... We're going to suspend the times four until we have more colonists. Because I like him being... I, I don't want him to, like, hook too many meals. And, um... All that shit, buddy. And then, like, them spoil. Because he's one man. Probably not going to eat them all that quickly. And he'll probably end up... We'll, we'll see what he does. I guess he's going to focus cooking. Which is fine. Um... I do want him to have, like, just some simple meals, and then once we get, like, a kitchen and rec area right here, maybe start getting, like, finer meals, you know? He's a CEO, after all. He deserves the finest cuisine. Um, and I also love fine meals, because they're kind of... When you have, like, a few colonists and you have a lot of food, it's really easy to... Like, when you have a good refrigerator and whatnot, it's really easy to keep their moods high with nice food. Which is hopefully what'll happen with this man. Um, we could probably deconstruct these already, get the wood out of them. <laughs> Not very resource efficient of me, but I'm never that efficient with wood. Wood is infinite. Like, why would you really even care about that, you know? Um, now we got, uh, probably get off two speed while he's sleeping, I guess. But um, I'm not gonna place anything for here yet because I do want him to finish building, like, the structure of it. But when he is done, I'm probably gonna set up, like, the battery room up here. Yeah. Have this as a battery room with a door right here, and then the AC's here for this, uh, freezer. And then we'll have, like, maybe a wind turbine here. And this could fit roughly two? Yeah, it fits two, or no, three batteries even. Which would be very nice. Um, and we could probably get, like, geothermal. That might actually be what I do instead of, like, just settling... Or setting up my corporate office here. Maybe set up by, like, one of these geysers. Let's see where they all are. Oh, this is Camera Plus, by the way. A lot of zooming. I like it a lot. But we have, uh, six geysers. I don't see, like, any of them. I think that's one. Yeah, and there's one here. So we have a lot of options, I guess. Most of them are by this coast, so it would probably be smart to set up here. So we'd also have the ocean, which I think only mechanoids can spawn into uh, when, when they attack. So that would not be a bad spot. We could also wall this stuff off, make a good like fortification. I think that is where we're going to end up moving in the future. But for now, again, our nice little abode, good enough for me. We need a lot of wood for this shit, man. And it sucks with one man having to chop trees and build. Oh, and harvest our delicious rice crop. We should probably get the freezer going soon. And maybe expand this so we have more food coming out of it. We'll see how long this lasts. No, actually, we are going to expand this. Because it's, what, 7 right now? So we're going to go with, like, uh... Bucket 10 by 10 rice. And once we have like a good little stockpile, we're probably going to switch crops to something like bread. Or maybe make a separate wheat field when we get someone good at plants, because I love the bakes in vanilla expanded cooking or whatever. The bakes are so awesome. They're so cheap. And like, especially when you get milk. Or like milk producing animals. It's so easy to get like really high quality meals for very cheap. With the uh, flour and the whatnot. And we could also start, uh, we could till the soil for our farms. We could also set up, like, I I'm not sure what, like, cash crops, I guess, in these mods uh, has any, like, bonuses. But I do know that, for example, what is it cucumbers and carrots, I think? Not cucumbers, um, green beans, right? Or is it pea? 
Oh no, peas have a bonus with corn, rice, or potatoes. Which would be easy. 50% is crazy. Oh no, it's less... I'm, I'm blind. It has a boost if it's raining. It's uh, green beans and carrots. If we have a 10 by 10, both of them, we get plus 30% on growing them. And add that, the irrigation from Dub's Bad Hygiene and, like, tilling the soil and everything, it'll it'll be insanely fast. Uh, that is if we don't go for, like, hydroponics, I guess. But, and we probably will eventually to fit the corporate aesthetic. But I think at least um, we could do some big things with some of the food crops and maybe sell some food. I think there are also canned goods. I know I can check in here. I always see it and never really... Maybe not. Is it in meals? Yeah, it is in meals. We could can products and sell it that way. I don't know how to can things, but... I guess we could give it a shot. What is it under? Probably... Cooking Expanded, I'd imagine. Yeah, canning machine. Is an appliance to store preserved food inside of metallic cans. Each canning operation needs a certain amount of steel. Yeah, if we have a good way to get steel, we could totally sell, like, canned goods. Be a canned goods producer as one of our things. Maybe, like, a brewery to start. I'm not really sure. A corporate... You know, we're... we're Omni Rim Enterprises, right? Enterprises. I could be completely wrong about this. Pretty sure that means we, we like, invest in various things. Um, it's It'll be embarrassing if I'm wrong about that, but... Yeah, so we can do sort of do whatever we want. We can invest in whatever field we want. Whatever products we want to sell. Um, make as much money as possible is our real end goal here. And uh, buy, buy a ship off-world, which actually just means buy the stuff we need to make a ship off-world. And the security we need to defend that ship to start a branch on a glitter world. As I believe I said last episode, that's sort of the goal, though. Um... Yeah. For now, I've been on poor speed for a while, just kind of letting him do his thing. Which has basically been harvesting rice. Should probably haul this shit instead of selling everything. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, that's not a lot of rice, honestly. That's kind of worrying me. I think it would be fine, though. I, I think what we'll do is, as I said, like go with peas and... Or no, green beans and carrots, maybe. Or something like quick and easy. Or maybe even beets, because they all they grow every season, all year. We'll see how it goes, though. For now, I'm content with rice. Rice is the best crop in the game, in my opinion. It's so easy. Actually, that that's cap. Corn is my favorite crop in the game. And we have a trader. What will they sell me? What will I sell them? They're a shogunate, so probably katanas and shit. Maybe some fish. I don't actually know if they are integrated with uh, Vanilla Factions Expanded. Oh, I also... Speaking of, I'm going to pause it real quick for this. You can see some of the mods I have if you haven't checked the mod list. One of the mods, if I could find it, Neo Samurai. I haven't used this yet. I really want to. I think it would be cool as hell. Because I have Vanilla Factions Expanded Tribal. And what that does is it allows you to... We can check at the campfire, I'll show you. You can uh, advance your tech level. And what I really want to do is either start as a shogunate or a tribe and make them um, samurai-based or, like, Japanese-based. And make my way up to, like, spacer, I believe, is the tech for this. Yeah. Make my way up to spacer and become, like, a neo-samurai cool-ass fucking group. I don't really know what they'll be exactly. Um, but I think it would be very cool to have, like, a, the Neo-Samurai faction and maybe go around conquering things, maybe conquer the Empire and become, like, the new Empire myself. I'm not sure. I have a lot of little ideas for RimWorld. RimWorld's a very open game. Um, and I tend to just... things are like, oh, that, that would be cool, and then I play it for, like, ten minutes, and I've never played again. But for videos, I might actually play a bit more, who knows. I guess we'll see in the future. Yeah, there really isn't anything I want from these guys, so that's uh, that's good enough for me to get the traded bonus. Good needs, yeah, recently traded. Make sure I keep that and get them out of here. And then <clears throat> I don't really know what he's up to. Why does he? 
What is he build? What has he been building? I've been distracted. I talk too much. Yeah, I guess he's just been like moving stuff. I build like around here. I don't get why pawns do this though. They'll build like like this random wall. Why this wall? Why not like this one or this one? And like I don't know. I guess it makes sense, because you can build roofs without a corner wall. It just doesn't look right, you know? It doesn't feel right. It's not aesthetically pleasing. I don't vibe with that. Sit, developer. I'm so angry. Let's slow it down. I'm going- I've been- I've been playing way too fast. Uh, it is tough with one colonist and, like, all these responsibilities. I'm really hoping we get a slaver. Or another raid. Or a drop pod or something. So I really want to get another guy going to do some of this stuff. Um, but I didn't think at the beginning... ...that it would be... ...good for, like, the story, I guess. If I, uh, included someone off the bat, multiple people off the bat. It would kind of, I could make it make sense, but like, it feels, I don't know, it feels, you know, like in Stardew Valley, your character is a corporate drone who like goes out and does his own thing. It kind of feels like that to me. I feel like that's a better story than like a group of corporate drones broke off and made a new company and just randomly landed on this rim world and didn't do it on their own planet. You know, I think like one corporate drone doing it makes more sense, uh, way more sense. That's why I did this, I guess. But man, I do wish I had more workers. <laughs> this is tough. We'll see how it goes from here. I'm really hoping, like, we get someone, though. Really hoping. Uh, do bison have milk? I don't remember. And I'm blind as hell. All this information's gonna go right over my head. And now they're, like, wool. Just for wool. Okay. Um, that could be a way we make money, but alpaca? Do you have? I don't think they have milk. Pretty sure they don't. Even yeah, they're they wool as well. I really want milk though. Milk is or like uh, eggs, even if we could get someone like a, maybe not a sea turtle. I'm pretty sure they're stuck in the water. But, like if we find chickens or cows. Or any animal, really, that gives us some milk. It'd be massive. We could even fish, I guess, but we need someone who's, like, good at animals for that. Walter's... Or Weaver's good at, uh, plants because he, you know, tended to the crops. <laughs> tended to the crops. He, he, like, maintained the plant pots of his company. Uh, that was one of his jobs. Um, but, you know, you don't really have animals in an office building. Come on. That wouldn't make any sense. So he's horrible at it. He's completely uninterested. He lived in the city. Oh shit. This is gonna be... Psychic storm. A supernatural psychic phenomena causes a great disturbance in the area. Psychic energy will strike at random and every living being will have their psychic sensitivity doubled. It will last for anywhere between a few days and over a quadrum. Uh, the big issue with this, view dear viewers, is that I think there's like an Arcanaut that'll spawn. I think that's what they're called. An Archon. And I think that's very bad news bearers for Mr. Weaver if it does. I think he can like one hit Weaver with ranged attacks. So I don't really know what I'm going to do about this if that does happen. So I guess let's cross our fingers and pray that it doesn't. But I do think that this is a good spot to end. Uh, a little cliffhanger for you viewers. What will happen to Weaver? Will he survive the psychic storm? Will he survive the potential Archon that arrives during it? Find out on the next episode of RimWorld Corporate something. I don't know the title yet, but I'll, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Thanks for watching.